Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. May peace and blessing of God be upon you all. This presentation focuses on coherence and cohesion in translation between Arabic and English. Following the steps in methodology of the scientific research, this presentation mixes uh, uh, theory and practice. The first section consists of un discussing basic theoretical concepts, uh, then uh, analyzing sample studies. The third section is an application of uh, the previous concepts and procedures. For systemic functional linguistics theory, al-lisaniyat al-wadifiya al-nidamiya aw nudumiya advanced by uh, Mac Halliday, language is a series of interrelated systems, which is polysystem, from where the, uh, the, the, the user can choose. The user chooses the linguistic items to satisfy the requirement of the context or social situation. Uh, Halliday and Ruqiyah Hassan applied this theory to English language. Likewise, Abdul Qahir al Jorjani advanced Nadariyat Nadm, a Nadm theory, whereby he says, La Nadma fil Kalimi wa la tartiba hatta yu'allaka ba'duha bi ba'd wa yubna ba'duha ala ba'd wa tuj'ala all these uh, mean interrelated systems, uh, causality uh, included. In the two uh, theories, the unit of meaning is the whole text. So the focus of study and the focus of translation the unit of translation is the text itself. Such attitude viewing the text, the whole text as a semantic unit, not of form but of meaning, concerns text linguistics, lisaniyat nasiya, that deals with language as uh, an interrelated systems, nasij mina al alaqat. Now, the question is, uh, what makes a text uh, differs from non-text? It is texture, which means that the text uh, contains uh, uh, various tools that help its different component to stick together so as to make it meaningful in an operational, in a special context, fi siyaqin ijtima'i mu'ayyan. So the translator should be aware of these relations, should be aware of these devices, should be aware of the texture of the text so as to be able to transmit meaning into the other language. A text should abide by the following criteria of texture. It should be coherent, which means that the reader should understand the deep uh, relationship between the sentences in terms of meaning, in terms of thought. This is called tamasuk dalali. These are other appellations. al habk is mentioned by Al-Jurjani, uh, Al-Jahid and others. Uh, similar to a sibk, which means that the text should be cohesive uh, and that the relationship between the sentences should be stated in terms of formal surface. It should express the author's goal. It should be accepted by the reader. It should provide information, new information. It should uh, be relevant to the situation and it, uh, it may uh, uh, have a relationship
translation or it can be dependent on other texts. A paragraph uh, in English can be coherent when all the sentences within the paragraph cohere together. It means are related to a single topic or, uh, or idea. They uh, develop, support the argument, synthesize or clarify the idea. In this way, they contribute to the meaning of the text as a unified entity. Uh, by doing this, they follow the logic of topic, supporting details, and conclusion. Let's look at um, this paragraph and see how all the sentences within the paragraph cohere together. Uh, we start with the, here with the indentation, which marks the beginning of the paragraph, and there is a blank here, uh, uh, which means that uh, a topic sentence uh, unifying the whole text is needed. It can be either A, B, or C. So uh, one of the sentences uh, speaks about uh, the taste of, of food, and then the others uh, how uh, food, how fruits are healthy, uh, they've got vitamin. The last sentence for these uh, reasons summarize uh, the whole paragraph. So it is C, which, uh, which is the main or the topic sentence uh, appropriate for this uh, paragraph because it talks about uh, how food, how fruits are healthy and tasty. Now let's go to the, to the next uh, paragraph as a text. Indentation. Uh, it talks about Marrakesh, known. Uh, uh, Marrakesh is uh, known for its historical monument. But here we've got also, so it is connective, it means uh, the next uh, information is added to this. It doesn't explain, but it is addition. Marrakesh offers a range of adventure activities in the nearby uh, Atlas Mountains, in addition. so. Each sentence here um, exhibits one of the characteristics of Marrakesh. So what is the uh, main idea that, uh, that stick uh, the, uh, the sentences uh, together? It is Marrakesh is attractive for various, for various reasons, and each sentence exhibits one of these reasons. So this uh, main idea uh, occurs in the mind of the reader. So uh, coherence uh, occurs in the mind of the reader through uh, comprehension. Cohesion is another uh, component of texture uh, it is divided into two, grammatical and uh, lexical. So these are devices. A text, the more of these devices a text has, the more cohesive it is. Uh, these also exist in different uh, languages, uh, though uh, the difference and the, uh, the dissimilarity between uh, languages uh, exist. Uh, that's why we've got to refer to scholars uh, specialized in the, uh, in different uh, languages, such as Al Jarjani, uh, Jahid, and others, to understand the mechanism of the of the, uh, of, for example, of uh, Arabic uh, language. Uh, reference uh, can be pronominal when we use. The name, for example, John, and in the next next sentence we use he. So the two sentences are uh, related uh, together uh, with uh, the item, uh, the pronoun. Demonstrative, this. Uh, comparative, uh, we can talk about two cars. And uh, in the next sentence I, I say, but this one is uh, better. So uh, I compare, uh, here I use comparison. Um, uh, also, 
uh, one word can be substituted for another uh, for example one uh, or once uh, I, uh, I've got two pens uh, I'll give you one so one replace uh, the pen uh, verbal do uh, did you um, uh, did you visit uh, Isawera? Uh, yes, uh, I did. Okay, so uh, to do here, uh, replace uh, the verb visit. Uh, or close the whole, the whole clause. Okay, the whole, it, can, it can replace a whole clause. Or uh, one word can be uh, deleted uh, at all. Uh, for example, um, have you have you seen that film? Yes. So a whole clause is is, uh, is 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 deleted. هل تتكلم الإنجليزية؟ نعم. So this happens also uh, in uh, in Arabic. Uh, the connectives, of course, uh, they are there is a large list and uh, they show uh, movement they describe the movement and the relationship between the sentences uh, we've got to check with the scholars uh, specialized in different uh, languages so as uh, to get informed about the, the mechanism of that a specific language and here in this case uh, we uh, we uh, check with al Zorjani and Jahid concerning uh, Arabic language for practical uh, purposes we are going to see to look to study some paragraphs to recapitulate cohesion is the grammatical and lexical linking within a text or sentence that holds a text together and gives it meaning. So these are the components of cohesion. Uh, in in this paragraph, so the paragraph starts with uh, identification uh, to mark the beginning. My favorite color is blue. So here it is the topic sentence. I like it, and because it so it refers to blue. It is a pronoun uh, reference, uh, and is calming it relaxes me there is my favorite relaxes me i often go outside the summer uh, lie on the, on the grass and look into the clear sky clear sky uh, is often blue so there is here also uh, cohesion here uh, takes place here when i am stressed it goes with it is calming it relaxes me when i am stressed for this reason i would have to say uh, my favorite color is blue a repetition of a favorite and also blue so we can say uh, that uh, all the other all the, the the sentences except for the first one uh, explain why uh, blue color is my favorite so it is coherent and cohesive in terms of formal structure and in terms of deep structure uh, 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 the next uh, paragraph uh, uh, as usually it starts with indentation my favorite color is is blue so the same topic sentence blue sports cars go very fast here blue is repeated which shows that the two uh the two sentences uh, are uh, connected together but there is no logic between them here uh, we talk about uh, blue uh, color as a favorite one but here we talk about sports car which are blue and go very fast so uh, there is no coherence between them driving in this way in this way goes back refers back to very fast uh, so there is cohesion is dangerous and can cause many car crashes car crashes uh, uh, also is repeated here as car 
accident and also he's repeated in broke my leg and then injury all these uh, refer to each other uh, so they are cohesive but there is no coherence no logic between them because the, the topic sentence is about uh, favorite color and then uh, so it is the opening open the, the the paragraph opens with blue color and ends with holiday in europe we can say that this paragraph is cohesive but not coherent an additional example to study my favorite color is blue the same uh, topic sentence next sentence in the text i'm calm and relaxed in the summer i lie on the grass and look at her these uh, sentences that constitute this text create these images in the reader's mind so my favorite color is blue i'm calm and relaxed and uh, 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 when i look up uh, uh, in the sky when it is it is blue so we can say that uh, this text is coherent because the ideas are connected together uh, but there is no cohesive devices between them so uh, the, the, the movement the movement from one sentence to the other is not done smoothly and it's not prepared for uh, we go to this uh, text in Arabic. Salaitu thumma aqamtu salah thumma tawaddat, and thumma is the cohesive uh, device. Uh, it is uh, a connective that express uh, that express uh, this uh, movement from one uh, one idea uh, to the other. Now the text is uh there is 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 cohesive because of this connective but it's not coherent because you one does not uh do ablutions uh after uh, doing prior so there is no logic here the following Two paragraphs have for uh, focus uh, a hotel. Now let's look at the topic sentence here. Uh, the hotel is famous. So I am prepared now that what is going uh, what is going to be discussed is how this hotel is uh, famous and uh, maybe other information about its. Uh, it's uh, it's fame uh, it is one of the most well known hotels in the country the the latest international dancing competition was held at the, the hotel the hotel spent a lot of money to advertise the event which event the international uh, dancing competition the hotel wanted to gain international reputu uh, reputation but not many people attended the event. So we started with the talk about uh, fame uh, and we ended with uh, uh, people didn't uh, at attend. So uh, even though the, the paragraph is cohesive because of uh, repetition and uh, also reference, uh, the, uh, the, it's not uh, coherent. It's not coherent. There is no logic between uh, these the between the ideas expressed in the paragraph we move to the next the hotel wanted to promote its image around the world by hosting the latest international dancing competition full stop because the hotel is one of the most well-known hotels in the country the event was widely advertised so wants to promote I its image that's why so there is a relationship here that's why it has the latest uh, international dancing competition so here uh, stated the the, uh, 
the, the relationship. Uh, however, so here uh, it is a cohesive device uh, to uh, signal uh, the change in the uh, in the in the direction of uh, of of the ideas. However, not many people participated in the competition. So, as annotation, the connection of ideas in the second uh, text is better than in the first. To conclude the first part of this uh, presentation, we, uh, here we come to a comparison between uh, cohesion and coherence. So, cohesion, it is uh, a textual phenomenon that happens in the text, uh, whereas coherence is a mental phenomenon and it involves uh, the, 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 the receiver's, the receiver's uh, knowledge of the word uh, outside and the subject matter uh, discussed in addition to his uh, experience. In the second part of our presentation, we deal with the uh, coherence and cohesion in, in translation, how we can uh, find equivalence, uh, equivalence uh, in, in two different uh, languages. Uh, we've got the source text, source text in English, and two versions of translation. Uh, we read the text. Mr. Netanyahu, not Mr. Obama, is the real enigma. This is the topic sentence. So the other sentences will explain, uh, will give more details about this topic sentence. His record suggests so. The words in, uh, in, uh, in, in colors uh, uh, perform cohesive functions. Uh, neither his American nor his Palestinians nor even his Israeli interlocutors find him easy to interpret. Now, so uh, the, the, the text is uh, coherent and cohesive, uh, uh, both, and we are going to see how uh, these two trans uh, versions of translation deal with coherence, this coherence and, and cohesion. إنه السيد نتنياهو وليس السيد أوباما اللغز الحقيقي full stop so from the beginning we feel here that uh, that the uh, the translator tries to copy uh, or uh, to bring literally uh, the co the coherence of the uh, of the English text uh, that's why uh, he uh, put it in the beginning and put full full stop and also translated literally the words Lughz, enigma, uh, and the real, haqiqi. And also, uh, it is here, walaysa, and not Mr. Uh, Obama. So, uh, the, the whole of this sentence mirrors uh, the, uh, the topic sentence in the English uh, text. Yaktarihu suggests, so literal translation, sijulluhu al-khas bi'uzufihi an hulul tsuyya allati qad tu'addi ila safqa. And that could bring a deal. Now, uh, a deal, so it is safqa, but it will not have the same meaning in, in, in Arabic. Lakin, so even the, uh, here, uh, the linkin also is translated literally. Lakin, la mufawidu al American, wal al Palestinian, wal hatta al Israeliyun yajiduna, instead of yajidu, min al sahl tafsira. Now, uh, this we will compare this translation with the, the next. تَكْمُنُ الْمُعْضِلَ الْحَقِيقِيَ So, enigma here, uh, so the translator of the second, of the second translation uh, uh, interprets uh, enigma as being the problem and not, uh, and not laws as it is done in the in the in the first uh, version, تكمن المعضلة الحقيقية في السيد نتنياهو وليس في السيد أوباما كما instead of full full stop. So uh, here, if you put full stop, 
it will hinder uh, the flow aspect of Arabic uh, discourse. So Kama is uh, better uh, and it sounds more Arabic than uh, full stop. Here in, in, in red, there is addition of it. Uh, in, the, in the original text, we understand that this sentence explains this sentence. Uh, but it is understood. Here, the relationship is, uh, is shown uh, uh, formally uh, in, the, in the formal structure of the sentence by adding harf id to explain the cause. Id yudhiru sijilluhu al-khas adam arghbatihi so all these sijilluhu arghbatihi so all these pronouns bound pronouns uh, express co co uh, cohesion. Fi tqdim tanazulat fi tqdim تنازلات من شأنها أن ترسي قواعد السلام and here a deal is translated by ترسي قواعد السلام because the translator understands the situation and the context في المنطقة so as to omit uh, any uh, ambiguity فلا and here uh, فا which is a marker of temporal uh, sequence or logical sequence uh, uh, it is added uh, so look here فلا مفاوضو الأمريكان ولا الفلسطينيون ولا حتى الإسرائيليون أنفسهم and this is this sounds more Arabic يمكنهم أن يفسروا مواقفه هذه it is added مواقفه هذه بسهولة. So uh, and there is no full stop till the end. So the whole sent the whole paragraph, the whole paragraph is is uh, is one sentence. Apparently, it is one sentence, but in fact, uh, it is uh, a cohesive uh, text. Uh, in comparison with the first, with the first version of the of the translation, on the basis of the previous exercise, uh, we conclude that uh, Arabic discourse is flexible and uh, and predictable. In comparison with uh, English discourse, which is uh, strict uh, rule governing. Uh, also, Arabic uses long sentences, a string of subordinate clauses uh, preceding the main clause, so the information comes later. Paragraph lengths are stretched, are long paragraphs. The, uh, the text may, uh, a paragraph, uh, a text may be uh, in the form of a whole paragraph. And the discourse is closely uh, interwoven. Uh, more continuous sequences and thus uh, an interrupted flow of of this course uh, no full stop is is needed uh, as uh, Hatim says that Arabic organization is circular and uh, cumulative and uh, especially that uh, Arabic writers come to the same point two or three times before from different angles uh, one thing very 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 attractive is the uh, the uh, the functions of of uh, of, of wa which 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 is both semantic and syntactic it can coordinate between sentences and also it signals beginning of a new sentence so it has the function of a full stop so uh, for for a translator to translate from arabic or into Arabic from English, uh, there is need to reconstruct and to restructure the whole text uh, into strings of uh, clauses. And if he is translating from, from, from Arabic into uh, English, so there uh, need for break up into uh, into sentences with full stops and semi colons. The source 
text in in Arabic shows it is an example of a modern trend of Arabic ri writing uh, with long sentences with comma uh, breaks. Uh, also, we we notice and we will see how uh, this long sentence is translated, but it is uh, chopped into uh, sentences, short sentences with the uh, with breaks of full stops. Now uh, we go back to the uh, source text uh, and we analyze. Uh, the linking and uh, cohesive uh, devices uh, such as uh, Kama, Kama, so it is uh, also, uh, there is also um, lacking, but the use of what here, it's, it, it, does, it doesn't have a semantic uh, function. It is, uh, syn it is uh, syntactic, it is syntactic, so it has the function of a full stop it is like a full stop so in the in the english uh, version one can put a full stop here as it is uh, done in the translation however uh, uh, there is another one here wa'ida so this wa uh, stands for uh, a full stop and that uh, a new sentence uh, is about uh, to start so uh, here, uh, add in punctuation uh, as a signal of change of direction, and uh, we, in, the, in in the English uh, version, and it reduces confusion and uh, ambiguity. Further examples of dealing with coherence and cohesion in translation between Arabic and uh, English. The source uh, text is uh, in English, and it is uh, and it is cohesive and coherent. Uh, the translation in, into Arabic tries uh, is influenced by uh, by the European uh, the, the, Euro the European uh, system of of breaks such as commas and and full stop. But the result is that uh, it, it doesn't read. Uh, Arabic uh, at all, and the sentences are very uh, are very short. Also, there is a literal uh, translation. Uh, look at هذا ما يقوله الرأي الشائع. So the the result is that punctuation and wording are alien, are strange to Arabic uh, uh, discourse. An example from uh, short story. Uh, by Edgar Allan Poe, The Telltale Heart. It is translated as Al Qalbu Al Washi. Here we've got two uh, versions of translations. Uh, in, in, the, in, in the first one, uh, it tries to uh, bring also that influence of uh, breaking, breaking the, the sentences. Look here at full stop. And also uh, uh, bringing the same structures and uh, and the discourse markers uh, of the original of the original uh, text, uh, uh, but in the in the next the next or the second versions, uh, it sounds more Arabic than uh, the first. لا أنكر أني كنت ولا زلت عصبيا وحاد المساج كما ولكن so as we said here uh, ولكن so but so there is no what it's not and but no, it is what which means that it is a full stop ولكن ليس لديك الحق أن uh, تصفني and here the uh, the writer is addressing to the reader أن تصفني بالجنون فقد جعل المرض طباعي حاد ف فلا so these are uh, cohesive devices uh, that uh, connect the sentences together and there is no full stop so uh, full stops is strange to the Arabic uh, discourse 
this the present uh, example shows that um, that uh, the break in or add in uh, full stop breaks into uh, Arabic discourse can also be uh, successful. It doesn't mean that it it's it will no, never be successful. And th this is an example. So we read together the uh, the the source text. This paper attempts to examine the notion of uh, paraphrasing and punctuation in the Arabic discourse. Full stop. It attempts to show how Arabic represents paragraph cues and considers how readers can identify paragraph boundaries if, as it is often claimed, Arabic discourse has no overt cues. It then proceeds to investigate and highlight the effect of loose paragraph marking of the absence of paragraph boundaries on the comprehension and translation. So this paper attempts to examine to how will you have the maqala dirasa mafhum i'adat siyaga wa nidam tarqim fi al-khitab al-arabi kama tuhawilu ibraz tariqat al-lugha al-arabiya fi al-ishara here uh, this full stop uh, it is there but the use of kama uh, has added or has uh, eased the flow to the to the next uh, to the next uh, idea kama uh, uh, look here it's there is not uh, also it attempts okay uh, but here there is kama to how will ibraz tariqat al lugha al arabiya fi al ishara ila al faqarat wa kayfa so way it is end kayfa yatamakkan al qari min tahdid al al faqarat fa and here, so he added, even though he put breaks, he added uh, those cohesive devices to uh, make the text cohesive. And I would like uh, to um, note that uh, it is the same, it is from the same writer. So it is uh, an abstract and the writer also has translated uh, himself. In practice number one, the students are uh, asked to uh, study the source text, study its cohesive devices used here, and uh, whether it is coherent or not. And then its translation, this is the target text in Arabic, uh, to what extent uh, the uh, translator is uh, successful in dealing with cohesion and, and uh, coherence. In practice, number two, this, it's the student's turn to translate into English and into uh, Arabic. Uh, uh, taking into consideration uh, the phenomenon of, of uh, cohesion and coherence, uh, pay, paying attention and taking into consideration the uh, cohesive devices. Uh, in this uh, paragraph, there is no full stop at all, though there are commas, but supported by cohesive devices. In the uh, English text, there is a topic sentence. Uh, and other sentences are marked by full stops and commas and other punctuation. Uh, and uh, the answers, uh, your versions should be on the uh, platform so that we can discuss them there. This study is conducted with the help of these resources, books, articles, websites, uh, I invite you to check with them uh, so as to uh, uh, to further uh, your knowledge about cohesion and and uh, uh, and uh, coherence. Uh, now, I would like you uh, to stay safe. Thanks.